Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Comics in Brief, our weekly reviews and sometimes news show. My name is Yule. Let's talk about some comics. There wasn't much in the way of news this week, so we're going to just get right on into the reviews. First up this week, we have Avengers number 685. This is part 11 of the 16-part weekly series. You know my thoughts on that. At the end of the last Avengers issue, Hulk was confronting the team. He was met by the Red Hulk with some armor on. And in this issue, they fight. They fight for about five whole pages. The Vision gets involved. He does some really cool stuff. But the Hulk being the Hulk is able to conk him on the head anyway. I really liked the fight that was going on here. I thought the art was very good also. Uh, the story's chugging along. We get to talk about, or we get to hear what Wonder Man is thinking and he gets involved at the end of the book. So if you are into Hulk smashing things and okay Wonder Man Avengers stories, then this is definitely the book for you. Next up we have Kick-Ass number two. There's a new person under the mask and she is stealing from bad guys at the beginning of this issue. She's acting kind of like an anti-hero. I personally am not a fan of anti-hero superhero comic books anymore. But by the end of this issue, it looks like she's changing her stripes. She's defending some innocence and is helping people. And I'm looking forward to the, where the third issue is going to be going. I like the art. John Romita Jr. is a favorite of mine and Mark Miller tells a slick story. So if you are a fan of any of this and violent comic books, this is definitely one for you. Next up we have The Mighty Thor number 705. This is part six of the Death of the Mighty Thor storyline. And this issue was very, very good. I liked it a lot. The art by Russell Donnerman is excellent. The coloring is excellent, and uh, I really enjoy the story. I've been looking forward to this. Um, for those of you that are upset that Jane Foster is going to meet her end, I want you to blame James, Jason Aaron. That's his fault. He gave her cancer. He could have stopped that. He didn't have to have her pick up the hammer at the end of the last issue, but he did. And boy, does she fight. And she fights with Thor. They're fighting Mangog, and it is glorious. I highly recommend you pick this issue up if you haven't. I'm not always a fan of the story where you're seeing the hero go out, but it is done expertly and uh, you gotta read it, it's very good. So Thor 705 gets very high marks from me. Runaways number seven is the first part of a new story arc. And the way this book started, I don't think I'm gonna read any other issues. I'm a very big fan of Chris Anka. I think he's a great illustrator, but there are definitely some problems in this too. I'm not an artist, so I can't tell you everything, but look at this hamburger scene. I can tell you that a double-double is way bigger and you can't just fist it like Gert is here. And uh, the writing, eh, it's okay, but like nothing happens. I mean, you follow these characters going to this one a job interview, um, it, the whole story was supposed to be about Molly going to school and there is no danger, there's no threat, there's nothing that happened in this first story that says, hey, I gotta read that next issue. If you're gonna read it all in one big clump, it'll probably be better, but as far as reading it issue to issue, I'm gonna pass. Last up we have Cable number 155. This is a brand new story arc by a brand new art and writing team. Cable was probably the best book that I read this week. I really, really enjoyed it. There is a creature from his past that's trying to hunt him down and kill him. He even goes so far as to attack Hope. That's Cable's daughter. Kind of, sort of. It doesn't really matter. He's raised her since, an since she was an infant. And they went on adventures together, but they haven't been together in a, quite a long time until this scene. I really enjoy it. She is at the X Mansion when the creature attacks and the next day Cable shows up. And it's a real neat scene where they're getting together. You can see their footwork, they're kind of uh, hesitating as they're moving towards each other. And then you finally get this really cool embrace 
Cable and Hope, I really have enjoyed their relationship since the beginning, and uh, this continues it. But it doesn't last long because they're battle-hardened veterans, and they're ready to get right back in it, and they start hunting this thing down. Cable, this is my favorite book this week. I recommend picking it up. I ordered a lot more so that you can. So do that. As always, I'd like to remind everybody that these opinions were mine and mine only. If you have opinions about them or about these books, you should let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this station. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, or if you think you aren't, check the bell for notifications so you can find out when a new episode comes up. And we'll see you next week.